Hey babies, welcome back once again to my channel. In this video, we are going to be going over Unity very quickly and how to import and export your Vroid models into the program. Unity is a 3D game building software that we can use to edit and modify our Vroid models. It is a powerful free resource that a lot of people use to, to build video games. It does recognize a variety of 3D format files, such as FBX. However, VRM, which is what our Vroid models are, the kind of file that our Vroid models save as, is not recognized. But that's okay, because there are some really nice developers out there that have created a package, an asset package, that allows you to modify the program itself. That asset package is also free as well, and it is what we are going to be using in order to import and export our models into the program. The program is called UniVRM, and in this video, I will be showing you where to download Unity and the asset package UniVRM, how to apply the asset package and open it in Unity, and then how you are going to use that asset package in order to import your model into the program so that we will be able to edit it down the line, and also how you export it. Okay, so the very first thing you're going to go ahead and want to download is Unity. I'm going to go ahead and link all of the links that you need for everything that we're talking about in this video today below in the description. So you'll have the direct link there, but this is where you're going to go to go ahead and download Unity. I have Windows, so I'm going to go ahead and download for Windows. You're going to press download. It's going to pop up. You're going to say where you want to save it. You're going to press save, and then it's going to go ahead and download. Once you have it downloaded, you can go ahead and double click it so that it opens up your installer. You're going to press I agree. You're going to decide where you want Unity to go. You're going to give it a destination and then you're going to press install. Once it's installed, um, you can go ahead. Um, you'll go ahead and click install. I already have it, so I'm just going to press cancel. Once you have everything installed, you should have a hub that looks like this. It'll have your projects here. It will have your different versions here. Unity does have previous versions of the program before updates and stuff that you can go back to. So just in case that there's an asset package or a certain tool that you're trying to use and it's not really working, it's kind of buggy with the most recent update, you can rewind it back. You can go ahead and download previous versions that they'll go ahead and work in. And a lot of programs will tell you in their description what and what they, um, the information that they include with the package, what version it will start to work all the versions that you do download and install will be right here. And in order to download those different versions, you would go to the visit the download archive and it gives you all of the versions of Unity that you can use that have been previously um, updated. All right, so before we move on to the next thing in Unity, we are gonna go ahead and download the asset package that we will be using in order to import and export our models into Unity. That package we're downloading is called UniVRM, and this is the page that's gonna tell you all of the notes for the version that you're downloading. So if you look right here, it says the UniVRM supports Unity 2020.3 LTS or later. So you're gonna wanna make sure that if you're using this package, this latest update of this package, you're going to want to use the versions that apply. We're going to go ahead and download this package. You're going to go scroll all the way down. You can read through that if you want to. It does give you some information, but really all you need is this package right here. We're going to go ahead and click UniVRM. It's going to download our file and that's it for right now. So we're going to go ahead and go back to our Unity Hub and go ahead and start our project. So we're going to open our Unity Hub. We are going to start a new project. It's going to ask us which versions that we want to go ahead and use. I am using the, one of the ones that apply. I made sure that it matched the, the notes, the developer's notes from um, the Unit VRM download. And I'm going to go ahead and select 3D because we are going to be working in a 3D space and we're going to name our project and decide where we want it to go. So you go here, you find in your directory, you're gonna select the folder. You're gonna wanna try to be as organized as possible. I'm gonna try to make that reminder. Don't be like me. <laughs> be an organized bean. I, it took me very long to realize just how important it is to be organized. Please, please, please do yourself a fucking favor. <laughs> organize your work. And then we're going to go ahead and press create project. All right. Once it opens, it's gonna look like this. This isn't a Unity tutorial, but really quickly, you have your viewport here and all of your assets and materials are gonna show up here. In order to import your package, you're going to want to press assets. You're going to go to import new package, custom package, 
and then you're going to find what we downloaded a little earlier and you're going to open the package and you're going to press open. When this comes up, you're, you're not going to change anything. You're just going to press import. It's going to think a little bit or a lot of it. And we're going to press accept all. Press close. That's going to add all our little assets into our asset folder. So now we have some new options up here at the very top. So what we're going to do, if you'll notice, you'll see VRM zero here. This new tool is what we're going to go ahead and use in order to import our model. We're going to go to import from VRM. You're going to find your character. You're going to see a window pop up and it's going to ask you about saving a prefab. So that's basically going to make little folders for all the information that your model is carrying for all the materials, all the meshes and all that kind of stuff. And it's going to organize it in a folder. You're going to go ahead and press save because it's going to save within a predestined directory that applies to your project. You're not really going to want to change anything except maybe the title here. It's literally just going to be a collection of files that pertain to your model. So I would leave it as their name or whatever you're doing. I added wings to this model. So that's why it says Lilith wings. And then I'm going to go ahead and press the save. It's going to create all those folders and it's going to add them here on the side. And you'll see some more of those, all the little folders that apply to our model and our model down um, below it within the asset window. You'll see these here and here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click and drag our model into our viewport. So you can go ahead and scroll with the middle mouse wheel. You can pan um, with holding middle mouse down and moving side to side up and down. And then if you right click and hold drag, you have the rotate orthographic view just for just for reference but now i have my model in here so now i've messed around with her i've changed some things i'm completely happy with my model and i'm ready to go ahead and import it out so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our vrm tab we're going to go to export to vrm we're going to look over here because now we have this little section that says export root we're going to take our full model. We're going to drag her name right into this little box and you'll see it pop you up like this. If you have a little warning sign here, let me take this version out. So you may have this right here and it may say require version. You would go here and put a version. Um, once everything is all the red signs are gone and it's not yelling at you anymore, you're gonna wanna put a title for your model and who made it. Um, and then everything else you can kind of leave. Let's say you had your model and she was posed somewhere different and you need to make a T-pose to export it out. You would do this, it would reset it to the T-pose. But other than that, you're just going to really put the title, your author and the version and press export. It's gonna take you, you're gonna save it where you want it to go. In the side where you want it to go, you're going to press save and it is going to go ahead and export. And that is it. You can see that was very short, very easy. It shouldn't be too difficult to go ahead and get your model into the program, but I just wanted to go ahead and have a separate video for that so that you can come back and find it just in case you forget. Because in our next video, we are going to be talking about adding blend shapes to our model so that we can improve our face tracking for our models and use things like eye facial mocap in order to track our face and control our model. Hopefully this was helpful and if it was, please consider subscribing to my channel so that way you get notifications whenever we do a new video and something else is uploaded. I have reached 1400 subscribers, which is wild. So happy that all of you are here and hopefully we can continue to help each other out moving forward. Remember you are loved and you are valued and you are worthy and thank you for watching this video. Bye babies.